Hello YouTube, so today I thought I'd start a Java series with ready to program Java each in using the HSA library. And the reason why I thought of making this series is because while we are using this at school, there's also not a significant amount of YouTube videos available on this topic. So I'll be slowly going through different topics about how to program Java using the ID ready to program Java. So after you download it from the link below, uh, let's open up the program and here you see a spy screen with the IDE. So over here we have file, edit, search, mark, etc. All the basic features. You're basically presented with some text editing software. Now it's okay if you don't know what to type in here because I'll teach you everything that you have to know. So now to begin programming, let's begin by clicking on file, new, and let's type in HSA console application template. So let's enter in here, um, hello world. Now keep in mind you have to enter H as an uppercase letter because it's a class. We'll be discussing that a little bit later on. So you press enter and here Java already constructs some code for you. So if we just run the code right now, let's click on run. It's going to output this nice console window and it says finished executing console. Okay, so now let's try to output something. So what I mean by output is the console will write hello world and then the user can see it, but nothing else is actually done. In order to do that, we're going to type in C. So essentially what C does is, since we see here, C is basically the name, the reference to the console. So you'd have the console which is outputted, and then you use C to refer to the console. So if we do c.println hello world, using quotes because it's a series of characters, so like a sentence. C dot print line, so it'll output this. Um, it does this print line command to the console. So let's click run here, and it outputs hello world. Perfect. Now we can even call this. Let's try D. So console D, D equals new console, and then D dot print line, and it still works. So it doesn't matter what you do here. It's the important part is that you declare in console. And that's what's special about hsa.console. It's because now you have this different library which allows you to output using the console provided by Hold Software. Another way to do it in old fashioned Java, in a sense, would be system.out.println, which is probably what you've seen if you've touched on Java before. It will actually output it in a window similar to this, which is completely different. So if you output C, it actually sends you the address of where it is within the RAM. So this is the actual address of hsa.console. Because you know what? C is a variable. I will be going over that in future tutorials. So basically today I'll be covering output and the introduction to the IDE. So essentially you have a run function here. You can open different Java files using this. You can save it as a Java file over here. You have an indentation function. So it automatically indents everything and it states it over here. You then have a print function so you can print off your code. You have a cut, copy, paste function. You can find text, you can replace, find next. And you also have different marks. So mark, when we'll be doing more advanced programs, you can quickly find specific sections. You can run it, you can run it with arguments. We'll be go over, going over that in later videos. So yeah, this will be pretty much this tutorial. Now I'll just be covering over the difference between c.print and c.println. So if we print this here, and then we do print instead, and then we print hi, they will output on the exact same line. Hello world. Now, let, what happens if we do the first one as a print line? It outputs it on a separate line. This is because print line makes makes the cursor go to go one space down afterwards, while print does not do that, and it just keeps the per cursor on the same position. So if we do print line and then it's like this it'll turn out like that okay um, what's also important to know is that you also can do spacing with this so if we have a c.print like this and then we do comma 12 and then c.print line it will actually make some space in between them let's make it 20 it'll actually make a space of 20 characters starting from h1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. all the way there We'll be going over this more, it's called an uh, overload, so just keep on and get tuned with other videos and we'll be covering that as well. So yeah, this is just the introduction to the output and the ID. I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for more videos.
Thanks for watching.